Yeah, uh, ju just a small corollary question on this. So, uh, do do you think that is it? It is easy enough to get those business objectives in place before you start conducting the trainings, uh, or it's it's going to be a heavy, hard exercise for the people in L and D departments. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I don't think it's hard. It's time consuming. Okay. 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 It takes time. So that means you've got to, you've got to know what questions to ask. And that takes practice mm -hmm. because L and D people, a lot of our education comes from education, right? So we've, we've taken education classes or we've taken yeah. behavioral science classes. We don't take business classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so now what we need to do is we need to uh, connect ourselves more with the language of business. Yep. That's the hard part, <laughs> right? And so training yourself to take learning out of your vocabulary when you're talking to business people. So you want to ask them questions that are more associated with business. And sometimes it takes time to get those results because, for example, safety matrix, they're only, they're only um, put out maybe once a quarter, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe twice a year. So it takes time to get those figures back, right? Uh, so it's not hard, but it just takes, it takes a little bit of time and it takes a little bit of digging. So if you have real business questions locked and loaded mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be able to talk with your business leaders, then, then you're going to be more successful. And what I mean by that, when you talk about KPIs, and again, for those listening, KPIs, key performance indicators, mm -hmm. All right. And so you're looking for what is important to the business. And so you are asking the business, what keeps you awake at night? What yep. is the yep. business pain point? So you're not talking, well, what, what training program will solve that? That's not the question we want to ask. That means we are jumping to a solution. What we want to do is we want to have a deep, honest conversation with the business and say, what seems to be the struggle? Why is it that salespeople are not selling this product? What seems to be the struggle? And then they yep. can say, well, the struggle is that they don't, they don't understand the new product. Well, why is it that they don't understand the new product? What's happening around them? What's the environment like? Right. So when we're asking business focused questions and not training focused questions, then we're able to set ourselves up for success in a greater way. So it's not hard. It takes practice and it takes time. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, from, from if, if you consider any professional, right, be it like someone like me who is coming from tech background, uh, we, we try to jump to the solutions rather than uh, getting to the pain point of what is what needs mm -hmm. the solution first for what we are finding the solution i mean mm -hmm. that's that's really important so one one good takeaway that we are having today is for lnd folks is they need to understand and they need to talk uh, in the business terms business uh, terminologies mm -hmm. so that they may get a seat at the table in future <laughs> right and here's my challenge here's my challenge to people listening is I challenge you to talk to a business sponsor, business leader, manager, et cetera, and not use the words learning, training, course, workshop, yeah, learning management yeah. <laughs> system. Don't use any of those words, right? Do not use learning words and see where you get. And uh, that's going to be a hard challenge for a lot of people because we're built, we're built for that. So uh, the, the good news and bad news of L&D professionals is that when people come to us with issues, we want to solve those issues, right? That's, what, that's really at the heart of what we want to do. We really do want to be helpful. However, the bad news is, is because of that, we race to this solution place. We're, as we're talking, we're automatically trying to think about what training course is it that I can put out there that's going to be helpful. And unfortunately, a lot of times, most times, training is not the answer. 
Yeah, yeah. Right? So most times it's a process issue. It's a procedure issue. It's an equipment issue. It's a cultural issue, right? And so we have to look deeper into those into those places and see now how can we help move the needle with those particular barriers without putting a, a training another training course in place. 